Hello everybody and welcome to Infantry Outdoors. Yours truly, your favorite disabled DJ. I'm the Infantry, back at it again, hoping you're having an amazing day wherever you are around the world. Thank you so much for joining us here today, coming to you live from North Florida, and today we are going to set up a home target range. I'm gonna show you how to set it up safely, how to do it the right way, and we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna get uh, one of my rifles out here and do a little shooting. Uh, now this will be a small uh, range, meaning we're gonna be shooting primarily pellet guns, BB guns. Uh, I can use this for archery. You would do the same steps in setting up a larger range for firearms, pew pews. However, this is in a smaller scale. So, welcome to Infantry Outdoors, guys. If you're new here, please consider subscribing throughout the video. And if you like what you see, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up. And feel free to drop comments as the video goes along. We respond to all of our comments. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to write to us at infantryoutdoors at yahoo.com. Now, today's episode is sponsored by our good friends at Silver Connections Group. You guys heard me talk about them all the time. Get your Google rankings boosted website. You can check out their work by checking out our webpage, infantryoutdoors.com. Check it out today, guys. A lot of info, a lot of things up on that page. And of course, our newest sponsor, Water Purification Products. Hey, guys pure water from the tap to you. It's that simple. Check them out today at waterpurificationproducts.com or there's going to be a number linked below. If you guys go online, I encourage you to call and speak to Jerry. Use promo code INFANTRY and you guys can unlock a whole bunch more savings. So check out Water Purification Products at waterpurificationproducts.com and of course all of our sponsors' infos are linked below. If you'd like to become a sponsor of the program, write to us at infantryoutdoors at yahoo.com or you can become a donor and a sponsor that way using our PayPal. Go to paypal.me forward slash infantryoutdoors and you can become a donor sponsor like my good friend Scarecrow1776, this week's sponsor of the video. Thank you so much for your donation, brother. All donations do go back into making the program, so thank you for your support and thank you for your help. Another way to become a donor or supporter or sponsor is become a Patreon. Go to patreon.com forward slash infantryoutdoors and get all the perks that our Patreons get, like first looks at pictures, polls, all kinds of stuff. And the third and final way you can help out the program is by shopping using our merch or our links through Amazon. Uh, this is one of our t-shirts to get hooked shirt. We have quite a few shirts out. They'll be linked down below. Click on any of the links in our video description or on our webpage at infantryoutdoors.com and we will receive a very, 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 very small kickback for your patronism. So those are the ways to support the program, guys. You know how to get in contact with us. Let's get into today's video of how to set up a home range, whether it be for BB guns, arrows, or even upscaled larger firearms. Today we're going to talk about how to do it the safe way to have the most fun in your space. So let's get into it. First thing that we're going to do guys, as you see behind me, I have woods behind me. The very first thing you want to do is select where you're going to have your range. Now this can be anywhere you want it to be, but keep in mind wherever that bullet is going to travel, you want to make sure whatever is far behind it is far behind it or safe and sound. Now the way that I've done this is I've gone onto Google Maps, I pulled it up using the satellite imagery, and I know where the houses are located to me downrange. This is something that you want to be very, very certain of because when you let anything fly, pull a trigger, release the arrow, wherever it goes, you're responsible for it. So you want to make sure that anything behind your backstop is clear and clean. In my case, I have a bunch of woods, which we're actually going to set our backstop up against a tree to further help stopping the round or pellet or whatever you're firing downrange. So the first thing that you want to do, step number one, is make sure you have a clean and clear downrange. Make sure there's no homes, make sure there's no animals, make sure there's no livestock, make sure there's nothing that's going to be affected by a stray bullet. That's number one. Make yourself a proper backstop. When you're going to fire something, whether it's an arrow or a pellet, you want something back there to stop the round after you've either hit the target or if you've missed altogether. This can be done using a block that we're going to use today, a tree. Uh, we're going to use a combination of a cardboard box, a block, and a tree just to further safen the environment. Um, but make sure that you have a proper backstop. A lot of folks use what are called berms, big old piles of dirt. That's perfect. If you're going to make a home range for a pew pew, 
that's your perfect backstop shoot into a berm, a big pile of dirt that the round can't go through and everybody's safe and secure. Step number three, what are you going to shoot at? Make sure that you have proper targets. Don't just go pick up anything and everything and want to shoot at it. Soda cans are fun, paper targets are good, soda bottles are fun, fruits, clay targets. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can shoot at. Today we're going to be using paper targets. I want to sight in my pellet rifle. Um, it's a rifle I use for squirrel and things like that, so I want to get it sighted in. And you can also check out me using this rifle in the Blind Guy Snipes and Iguana video. Check it out right above here and it'll, you guys will enjoy that one. That's the rifle I used to snipe iguanas out of trees from a boat. So today we're gonna just make sure it's all sighted in. We're gonna set up our little home range here today and just have a good time. So welcome to Infantry Outdoors, guys. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button and uh, let's get the range set up. Stay tuned. Okay, as you guys can see, these are the targets that I am looking to shoot at today. We're using the block as a stopper, the cardboard to mount my targets onto and moving over to the table here is the rifle we're going to be shooting today my gamma 1.77 caliber sniper special all right everybody so you as you can see from behind me this is the range that i'm planning to set up i have google mapped what's behind me and i have a straight clear lane of nothing but woods pretty much as far as it can go now I'm going to use this tree as a backstop. You guys will see me here, go take the block and the targets down there and get them set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the cardboard, behind it will be the block, behind it will be the tree. So if by some freak miracle the round makes it that far, it is a 1.77 caliber pellet rifle, I will completely be amazed. But again, we want to make sure that we're doing this safe and securely so that no one and nothing gets injured, hurt, or damaged because any rounds that we put down range, irregardless what kind of round it is, we are responsible for. So we wanna be as responsible as we can when practicing these techniques. So as you see the range is down by me, I'm gonna go get the target set up. I'll show you where we're gonna set them up. So guys, as you can see, I'm down range. I've chosen this tree. And again, behind this tree is woods, 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 basically in a straight line as far as the property can go. Um, I have the tree behind us. We're gonna be using this target block, this broadhead block, and then in front of it, we're gonna be setting this cardboard box with our target just like that. So everything downrange is as safe as it possibly can be. Again, this is a small caliber range, a small archery or pellet gun, BB gun style type of range that you might wanna put in for your kids or maybe you just wanna target practice at home. This is a great safe way to do it. I know nothing downrange is gonna be hurt. I know that everything's gonna be stopped here and it's gonna be a safe and fun time. Now today we're using this target here. I'm just like I said, gonna sight in my rifle. The last time I used this rifle was an iguana hunting video. I set up a GoPro here so that you guys will be able to even see, you know, if I hit it, if I don't hit it, you'll be able to sit the, see the shots as well. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope you enjoy all of this information. This is how I've always done home ranges of any kind, whether it's for BB guns, airsoft, whatever. This would be, even on a higher scale, make sure that you have a berm or something behind you just so that the shooting environment is 100% safe. If you do that, you'll have a great time. So, let's get into some shooting. Stay tuned. Okay, everybody, so now that we have our home range set up, everything's clean and safe downrange. We're not gonna hit anything. This is the gun we're gonna be using today. This is my 1.77 caliber Gamo sniper rifle. It's a single shot crack barrel. And it fires little teeny tiny bullet shaped pellets, which I'll show you here in a minute. Put it in the rifle. Close the barrel. Safety is on. And let's send some down range. What do you guys say? Now to hold my rifle, I'm using my sandbags provided by T-Wad. I will put the link down below if you guys want to grab a set. It's a two bag set really really good to use now you will have to put sand in it of course but let's see what we got There's 
one. That's three rounds. Again, I'll link these bags down below for you guys. Great bags by T-Wad. Let's go downrange, see how your boy did. So I didn't do a whole heck of a lot of good. I don't know if you guys have got to see this or not, but you got one here, you got one here, and I can't find a third one. So they're all high. So I need to bring everything down quite a bit or see if, if it's me or the scope. But we're gonna try to sight this sucker in. I think this is the third one right here. Yeah, there's a third one. So all three are shooting high. So the first three rounds, down range, we're way up on top of the target. I don't know if it was something I did on that round or if the scope is off. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I've been trying on this rifle since I got it. There's a little orange dot in here. And if I don't scope it correctly, then it doesn't fire right. So we're gonna see if it's me. I think I aimed wrong. I think I put the orange dot on there and that's what was making it shoot high instead of using the scope. So this time I'm solely using the crosshairs. One thing I do want to point out too, guys, this is stock how the, the rifle has, this is stock how the pew pew came. This is a scope that it came with. This isn't my normal scope. Uh, if you guys have seen any of my Friday live streams, I use a different scope on um, many of my rifles. I just haven't gotten one for this yet. So this is a stock scope. It doesn't really give me the opportunity to zoom or anything like that. Um, yeah, it's just stock. So let's go see what we did on those three rounds. All right, guys, better this time around. We got one in the bullseye. We got one right here. And I don't know where the third one went to. Like, really, I don't. It's not on here anywhere. So we're getting closer to that bullseye. Let's put three more downrange. Um, what I did this time is I sighted in using only the crosshairs on the scope, not using the little orange dot at the end, which kind of messed me up the first round. As you see, it sent the first rounds way up high. And then the second set came down much better, obviously, in the bullseye. So let's shoot three more down range and see what we got. So guys, we're getting there. Rounds are dropping. My mistake was, like I said before, is this little stupid orange thing. I mean, the open sights are great. 
Uh, but when you're using a scope, don't try to line this up with your crosshairs. So let's send three more downrange now that we know that it's infantry making the mistake. Usually is user error, guys. Anytime you're using a pew pew and something goes wrong, it's not the pew pew's fault. It's always user error. So let's see what we can do this time. Let's go see how we did. Okay, looking a little better this time, guys. So we got this one here. Right there where my finger is. We've got this one here. And we've got this one here. All three in a nice little group. So, I mean, I could tweak this scope and I can do more, but for a fun day of just getting the rifle out, it's not bad. This definitely would put meat and potatoes on the table, let me tell you. So, let's keep on going. Let's, uh, I don't know, let's shoot another three rounds and see what we got. Stay tuned. Okay, everybody, I hope you're having a great time with this. I'm having a blast being able to set up a home range. It's something I've been waiting to do. Even though this is a small scale range, I mean, we're only 50 yards maybe, but it's still a good time. Now, if you want to see me do a follow-up on this video where I show you how to sight the scope in and dial your rifle in, if we get enough comments and we get enough likes, I would say if we get 100 likes, 100 thumbs up on this video, I will do a part two to this where I actually show you how a blind guy sights in his rifle scope. So if you guys are enjoying it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Drop comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, always feel free to write to me at infantryoutdoors at yahoo.com. Hey, if there's any optics companies out there that want to work with your boy, you know, I'm working with what comes with the rifles. I know we can improve on this. So if you have a product that you think we can dial infantry in on, write us and let us know. If it fits our target demographic, we'll put it out there for you. So let's put three more down range and see if we can't close this out on a good note. My favorite thing, you get the shot lined up and a bug flies in your ear. Mm -hmm. 
And I'll tell you what, for those of you guys that are home watching this, be pretty amazed that a guy who can't legally drive a car or is supposed to not be able to do things according to society, uh, like hunt and things like that because of my disability, I'm out here doing what I love to do. So keep that in mind and I hope that, you know, like we say in every episode, that this inspires you guys to get out and try stuff like this. Because it is a lot of fun. I mean, just sitting here by myself, Taking my time, and that's another thing, guys. When you're doing things like this, take your time. Don't rush, don't be in a hurry to fire, 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 fire. Get the technique, get the practice, get the basics down, and once you have that, all of that other stuff, it'll come on its own. All right, last round, guys. All right, let's go see how we did on our final three. So one thing that you guys will get with making your home range is a whole lot of exercise, walking back and forth and back and forth to check on your targets, to check on where you hit. So you'll get your exercise, believe me. So here we are at the targets, let's see how we did. Oh yeah, look at your boy. We got one in the bowl, two new one over here, three new one over here. So we got, everything is pretty much staying in this pattern, which for me is not really that bad. Um, this right here, believe it or not, is a little difficult for me to see with this optic that I'm using. But all in all, you can see that your boy ain't half bad for somebody who supposedly can't see to do this kind of stuff. So I hope that you guys realize that. And I hope that you enjoy me showing you how to do this. Okay guys, that's about all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you did. If you're not subscribed, well, hit that button. It's absolutely free. Be sure to ring the bell so you're notified each and every time we put out a video. And be sure to join us Friday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our live stream. Guys, this is a small target range, I know, and I'm only using a pellet rifle, but you can upscale this to use, obviously, bigger caliber pew pews than what we're using here. I'll be using this primarily for small, as you see, target range stuff, and even archery, getting into archery and getting ready for hunting season. So whether on the large scale or small scale, all the things that I taught you in this video do apply. You wanna make sure that it's, number one, safe downrange. You don't wanna shoot into anybody's house, you don't wanna shoot into anybody's property, shoot into anybody, because every round that you do fire, you are responsible for, irregardless where it goes and what it hits. So please keep that in mind, guys. But as long as you do it safe, you'll have a great time just like I did out here today. And uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. So be sure to smash that thumbs up button. We're going to get out of here. We're going to do some more shooting and some other stuff today. But uh, on behalf of myself and the whole team here at Infantry Outdoors, we hope that this and all of our adventures inspires you to get outdoors. Until next time, have an awesome day, everybody. Take care.